Hey everyone, uh, Dr. Mungli here. So take time to read this question. So you can pause the video and read the question. Now in this particular question, so the question is uh, decrease in which one of the following enzyme activity could uh, significantly lead to decreased levels of HDL cholesterol. Now in the question stem it says that uh, there is elevated significantly elevated levels of LDL cholesterol and uh, decreased levels of HDL cholesterol. Now which enzyme activity decreases HDL cholesterol? So there are four five enzymes given here. All of these enzymes directly or indirectly are related with uh, lipoprotein metabolism. Now let's move on with uh, A to E choices. Now the lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase enzyme and also note that so if you are not confident in uh, lipoprotein metabolism I have a video on lipoprotein metabolism link for that video is there in the description below and also it is appearing at the end of this particular video and also it is appearing right now at the right upper corner. So you can uh, take a look at that video and watch that video which is a complete video on lipoprotein metabolism which is around 25 to 30 minutes which will give you a complete idea about lipoprotein metabolism. Now if you are sure about lipoprotein metabolism and all the enzymes that are involved in that let's continue with this question. Now the first enzyme is lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase. So what this enzyme does in lipoprotein metabolism? Now lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase which is simply referred as LCAT enzyme. Now with the LCAT enzyme it is, it is going to take cholesterol, excess cholesterol from the peripheral tissue which is coming out of the peripheral tissue as uh, using ABCA1 transporter, ATP binding cassette transporter A1 which will allow excess cholesterol from the peripheral tissue uh, which is taken up by the LCAT enzyme which itself is located on HDL molecule now that is the nascent discoidal hdl molecule is going to, uh, which is having lcat over its surface so the lcat is going to take the excess cholesterol from the peripheral tissue and convert the excess cholesterol into cholesterol ester and it will store in the interior core of nascent discoidal hdl so because of the continued activity of lcat enzyme which is of course activated by uh, uh, APO lipoprotein A1, APO A1, uh, APO lipoprotein. So once LCAT is active, it is continuously taking excess cholesterol from peripheral tissue and store it as cholesterol ester. And this is how nascent discoidal HDL is converted into HDL3. That means when you find high levels of HDL3, that means there is a increased activity of LCAT enzyme. So in that sense, so in the very beginning, the very beginning of HDL metabolism, you really need to have LCAT enzyme activity because that is the enzyme which is going to convert nascent discoidal HDL into HDL3 molecule. So, so, so far, uh, for our question here, decrease in which one of the following enzyme activity could significantly lead to decreased levels of HDL cholesterol. So momentarily at this point in time, LCAT enzyme activity, decrease in LCAT enzyme activity will lead to decrease in HDL cholesterol. So that makes an answer. Now let's see why option B to E are wrong. Now the cholesterol ester transfer protein, what this enzyme does? The cholesterol ester transfer protein is also located on HDL surface. So the job of this enzyme is it is going to con uh, exchange cholesterol ester from HDL3 uh, to IDL, VLDL and LDL molecule. So in return, it is going to take triacylglycerol from VLDL, IDL and LDL and put it into HDL molecule. So basically what it does is going to take cholesterol ester from HDL uh, and give it to IDL, VLDL, LDL and in return it is going to take triacylglycerol from them and put it into HDL3. So because of this continued action of CETP, so your HDL3, it will be converted into HDL2 molecule. While this process is going on, even LCAT continues to work. So that means HDL3 is converted to HDL2 molecule, uh, which is rich in triacylglycerol and cholesterol ester. 
and this uh, conversion this change it will be because of two enzymes LCAT enzyme and CATP enzyme. So the decrease in the activity of CATP does not really lead to decrease in overall decrease in HDL cholesterol because HDL uh, CATP is going to work only when there is uh, HDL3 is al available. So that means uh, discoidal nascent HDL is converted to HDL3 by LCAT enzyme and only when HDL3 is available CATP is working. So decrease in C uh, CATP enzyme not necessarily is going to decrease overall HDL cholesterol levels. Now coming with option C. Option C is microsomal triacyl glycerol transfer protein. So the function of this particular protein it is there within the liver and in the intestine. Now the MTTP it is helpful in the transport of lipids from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum into the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So it is nothing to do with the HDL cholesterol. So that is why uh, MTTP does not really uh, ans is an answer here. So the defect or deficiency in MTTP function could lead to a disease called A beta lipoproteinemia. So you can uh, look into my video on A beta lipoproteinemia which is there in the YouTube. Coming with option D. Option D is acyl cholesterol acyl transferase A cat enzyme. This enzyme is there in the liver and other tissues which is a which is basically it is a cytoplasmic enzyme. It is not there in the uh, blood vessel and it is nothing to do with HDL cholesterol. Coming with the lipoprotein lipase. Lipoprotein lipase it is located over endothelial surface and it is responsible for metabolism of chylomicrons and VLDL. So uh, again it is nothing to do with the HDL uh, cholesterol metabolism. So in that sense by ruling out B to E so we are left with option A and that is why so the option A which is a lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase it, it makes a answer for this particular question. So I hope this video has made sense in uh, understanding the question and uh, choosing the correct answer for the question and also to know why other choices are wrong. So with this, uh, this is a quick review of HDL cholesterol metabolism. So as I said before, if you have any doubt, any question or if the concept of uh, lipoprotein metabolism is not clear to you, make sure to watch my video on lipoprotein metabolism. Link for that is there in the down description and also it is uh, uh, appearing at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.